When we talk about the rapture and the day of the Lord, they are two different events. One is a complex, one is a, a singular event that will happen instantly in the twinkling of an eye. The other is a complex of events that we'll talk about in just a moment. But they're two distinct things. Don't confuse the two. So the Thessalonians, these new believers, they're wondering, when is all of this going to happen? They're unsettled. They're alarmed because they were expecting Jesus would come back at any moment. In fact, many of them thought that he was going to come back before they died. And so they're alarmed when their loved ones are dying and some of them being killed in persecution. Some of them assumed that they were in the day of the Lord. And so Paul reassures them. And he tells us in this passage that as we ponder the Lord's return, you and I are to watch, but don't worry. The day of the Lord is not the same thing as the rapture of the church. It is a time of God's wrath being poured out on an unbelieving world. As we see the state of our world today, we ought to be looking up because Jesus will be coming back soon. We don't know exactly when, but it sure seems like things are coming to a climactic moment. But still, I come back to our idea that I mentioned earlier. When we ponder the Lord's return, we are to watch, but not worry. So, watch for the signs, which means we also watch in hope. And when you read about, when we talk about hope, I'm not talking about wishful thinking, we're talking about expectation. That's the meaning of biblical hope. Paul did not anticipate that the church would experience the chaos of the coming judgment that we call the day of the Lord. Though judgment will come upon them as a thief in the night, Jesus will come for us as a bridegroom comes to get his bride. And he will take us away to a wedding feast. We aren't on the lookout for a thief. We wait expectantly for a bridegroom. And followers of Jesus are to be watchers, spiritually alert and prophetically aware. The Lord is coming to judge the earth, but before he does, he will come for his church. So what are we to do in light of this? Uh, first of all, we are to put on spiritual armor. Look with me at verse 8. Once again, Paul says this here. Putting on faith and love as a breastplate. A, breast, uh, a breastplate was a piece of armor that, that protected your heart. But here he talks about the breastplate as being faith and love. Well, how do you build your faith? You build your faith by feeding on the word of God and being, being in loving relationships in community with other believers. It, it, to be healthy as a believer requires more than simply subscribing to sermon podcasts. Remember, you to watch for those precursor signs and also watch in hope, in great expectation of Christ coming with his rescue for us in the rapture of the church.